Right, given that I had to make an entry video for the whole competition thing anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of a video update. You see, and basically the start of uh, the project as um, I've started to get some hardware together. Um, so what you're seeing is if I point to some things, here's a couple of bridge rectifiers. Um, now, I haven't actually bought these for the project, I actually pulled them out of a server which had a built-in UPS. It's this huge, great machine. Um, now, if I wanted to use this particular model, I'd need about 10 more, so that's not going to fit inside of my budget, but they're quite good for just developing and testing. Um, you see from the second generator, I've got a PIC micro here, which is like a couple of buttons and stuff, there's the programmer. I've also started making code for the Arduino, um, using the, the Mega, um, basically because I don't, I know people kind of tend to fall into one of two camps, and you know, I don't really care, the code is going to be roughly the same for both of them, so it just doesn't matter, so I might as well make it in two, and hopefully get a bigger community together to uh, you know get work on this I've got um, an LCD display now this in the end will display you know intended voltage the way it ramp up ramp down pre flow pre, pre flow for gas post flow for gas what sort of voltage what sort of current is going to be put into the circuit got a whole bunch of um, IGBT devices to control what currents going in there they came out of my little pot of stuff um, I've got, at the minute I've just been using a light bulb as a uh, bit of a current sink so that I can measure the current going in and out of the thing. It's just a standard car light bulb at 50 odd watts, which is nowhere near the kind of power you're going to need for actually welding, uh, unless it's really, really small things. But it does at least let me get started.